Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jacob Nichols. I'm a filmmaker based here in Antwerp, Belgium. Um, today I'm going to give a very quick video about the Red Komodo SDI saga that has been going on, right? So first of all, I um, want to explain the reason for making this video and that is because I am on various Facebook pages um, regarding Red cameras and the Red Komodo specifically and there's been a whole lot of confusion and on a daily basis there's always a question about the 12G SDI sequence and all that. Um, I just want to state that First of all, this is not a red sponsored video. That being said, this is not a red issue. It is not a red Komodo issue. It is just a thing of 12G SDI. So if you use 12G SDI um, ports with any camera, be it from Sony, be it from Canon, be it from Ari, Red, Blackmagic, you would face this particular issue as well too. If this was a 3G or 6G cable, um, I'm sorry, port, perhaps it will be different. But this is peculiar to 12G SDI ports. So what I want to also advise you guys is that do not overthink this. It is very, very simple. It is extremely simple. So I have my red camera here. And the first thing I want to do is that Whenever I'm not shooting right, this is always like this. And most people, when they see this, they ask me, why is my cable dangling? I'm like, you don't understand. This is what Top G SDI does for you, or to you rather, right? So my camera is powered off. I have the port keys powered off as well too. What I don't want to do is that I don't want to connect this force before powering on anything. By doing that, I stand a chance of frying either of the ports be the Komodo or be the port case. I don't do that. These things are pretty expensive. So when I say to overthink this, I think have this as a rule of thumb, right? Is that last in, first out. So basically what it means is that this is the last to go in here and this will be the first to come out before I put power or anything, right? So I'm going to put on my Komodo here I'm going to put on my port keys monitor as well too. Now it could be any monitor, it does not matter, right? I'm going to wait for this to boot on, to boot up, <laughs> and wait for this to boot up as well too. At this point already, I could connect it and I will do just that. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to connect it. At this point, it is safe. Nothing is going to happen to your stuff. Uh, I'm saying this from my experience, but um, do not hold me responsible if anything happens to your um, system. I'm just telling you what I do. I've done this more than a hundred times and nothing happened to me. Oh, sorry, to my camera rather, right? So if you see, this is on and this is on at this point. Everything seems to be fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing. I could go ahead now and disconnect this. Um, I could disconnect this put it back and disconnect and put it back as many times as I want nothing is going to happen absolutely nothing is going to happen I've done this more than a hundred times um, perhaps a thousand times but not yet and nothing happened um, again the, the trick is that do not overthink it it's it's really simple I know it can be scary um, to be honest with you if I if I if I wasn't on this groups i probably would have fried my komodo because i've never used sdi solutions in my life um i had a canon c200 but um, i really never used the sdi port on it so i kind of have no experience this is my first experience with sdi and unfortunately it's a 12g sdi um so a couple of tricks you want to do is you want to use a shielded cable um, there are cables that ranges from 10 euros to 100 euros plus on amazon so this cable that i got is not really a an expensive or a very high-end cable um the this cable is hang tongue and it's made in japan i got it um on amazon it's the 12g shielded cable i think when you're going to get a cable right it's very important to note that you're looking for a 12g shielded cable you need a shielded cable and then one of the things one of the things you will know a cable that is shielded or not is that shielded cables most times are often very very thick um, I have one that's somewhere laying down around in my, in my apartment here that's quite thicker than this. Um, so you want to go for something like this. And if you want to mitigate the risk as well too, I've heard of a certain cable from especially Ari. Um, it's, it has sort of an isolator that kind of reduces the current or prevents, not reduces the current, but sorry for saying that, but prevents, you know, sudden like spike in current. So by having that isolator in it, you cannot um, fry either of your port, either your monitor or your Komodo. I have not used that. I cannot vouch for that. 
it's a mixed reaction from users on various posts. Some say it works, some say it doesn't work, I do not know. Um, I cannot tell you more about that, but for, so far so good. I have been doing this method, um, it's been working on perfectly, there have been no issue. Just to recap again, if I'm not shooting, I have this cable lined down like this. I know it can be quite annoying and frustrating, but you'll get used to it after a while, right? So what I'm gonna do again is, I'm gonna power this on, I'm gonna power this on, and when they both come on, I will then connect. Still waiting for the port keys to come on. Um, still loading. And then I will connect this, right? This is connected. Guys, I think I've done this already more than three times on, for this demonstration. And so far, so good. Nothing um, has happened to it. If you're wondering, it's initializing. <laughs> that is fine. You can't see the screen yet. So this is it everything is perfect there's really nothing nothing with it if i want to disconnect it before i disconnect the cable right i wouldn't power off anything i would first pull this out stop pulling this out i can then disconnect it whichever way i want um if you're wondering one more thing before i, before I leave you guys right if you're wondering why i disconnect from the monitor instead of the red frankly speaking the sequence i mean not the sequence per se but the um yeah the sequence in fact doesn't matter in the sense that i could leave this permanently connected here while i always disconnect from the monitor from komodo itself but i think it just makes common sense to risk damaging this old sdi unit here um, by use of wear and tear than this i really don't want to have to go on that here always to it's just not convenient enough um so i would rather risk this one if this i mean if this gets damaged right just by from use wear and tear and all that i can easily replace this i do not want to have to not build my komodo for reasons of repair all right guys so that was it for this video uh, i think it got longer than expected but i hope you learned something um most important thing again is guys do not overthink it it's very very easy make sure you have power on all your devices before you put on you put in the second end of your cable and before you while you want to disconnect just disconnect and then power off that's it um guys so if you found this useful um give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel um that really encourages me and uh until next time i'll be wishing you a good morning afternoon, evening wherever you are keep creating and most importantly stay safe